by accumulation from fresh water food chain. Every day, people use stuff that requires factory production, like cell phones, computers, TVs, and even your car. But what people don't know is that to make these items in the factory, there has to be pollution which in this case, in bioaccumulation, pollution is mercury. So this is how the process of bioaccumulation works. First, the factories generate the mercury in the facility. Then, it is released through the smoke and traveled through the air and into the clouds. Once the clouds have absorbed the mercury, it then mixes in with all the rain that is going to fall. As the rain falls with the mercury in it, it lands into the nearby water, which now will contaminate the water. So what happens now, the mercury that falls into the water and is moving around in it, settles down to the bottom where algae is living. The next step is the small fish that come and eat the algae. This then contaminates the fish. Usually a little bit of mercury fish can obtain and use it and break it down. But too much mercury will cause the fish to not be able to break it down either because they are absorbing it too fast or they're getting too much at once. Now let's just say each fish, small fish, absorbs two units each of mercury. But there's a downfall for being a small fish. Small fish have predators. So now the medium fish come in and they go to eat the small ones. The medium fish will now eat two of the small fish each. So now the medium fish will intake four units of mercury. This much mercury will either make them sick or make them die, or they will die from getting ate by other predators. The next step to bioaccumulation is further up the food chain. Now that the medium fish have obtained this much amount of mercury, the bigger fish, the one that eats all fish, will now have all that mercury. So let's say the big fish goes and eats two medium fish that has four units of mercury in it each. If he eats those medium fish, they will not, the big fish will now have eight units of mercury. This can become very dangerous and deadly to the big fish unless it gets ate by the bigger predator which are the humans. Now us humans can absorb mercury a lot easier than fish but we could still get seriously ill from having too much mercury. So if a human eats two big fish that's all eight, two medium fish each, then the human will have 16 units of mercury total. So all the pollution that us humans are making from making the appliances that we use every day in our lives comes back and bites us on the butt. This is just a brief example of bioaccumulation in a food chain. But there are also other complex bioaccumulation factors that you gotta look at. There are food webs, a lot of food webs around. So if fish start dying because of this mercury, it's gonna mess up the food chains and the food webs. Thanks for watching.